Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of thermodynamics. Okay, here we are seeing the thermodynamic relationships. In our last lecture, we have studied about the Maxwell and non-Maxwell relationships. Okay, there are several questions that are also asked from this topic. So that we will see in our next lectures. Firstly, we are covering the thermodynamic relationships. Actually, there are five types of relationships. Two we have covered. Third type is potentials in the terms of coordinates and fourth one is the coordinates in the terms of potentials. Okay, so see here, this is potential in the terms of coordinates. Okay, potentials means H, G, U and A. These we are deriving in the terms of coordinates. It means P, V, T and S. Okay, so how we can derive it? We have to find out these potential in the terms of the coordinates. For this, what you will have to do? You will have to make the max bond square. This is the quick trick. Okay. S, P, T, V. Then write here H, G, A, U. Okay. Put here the arrow like this. Okay. And see here. What you have to do? Here is S. So write here. B S. Okay. Then on this side of arrow, this is T. So put here plus T D S. Okay. Similarly, here is P. So we will write here D P. On this side of arrow is V. On V is on the side of arrow. So put here plus V D P. See here, this is T. So write here D T. And on the side of arrow, there is S. Okay. This is on the opposite side of the arrow. So you will write here minus sign. Similarly, here write D V. Then see here, this is P. P is on the opposite side of arrow. So write here minus PD. Okay. So what you will have to do? See here, H. First of all, see H. H is a function of S and P. Okay. So we can write DH is equal to TDS plus VDB plus these terms. Okay. TDS plus VDB. Similarly, G. G is a function of P and P. T. So right here, DG is equal to VDP minus SDT. Similarly, see here A. A is a function of T and V. So right here, DA is equal to minus PDV minus SDT. Okay, this is our first equation. This is second equation. This is third equation. Okay, similarly, if you have to find out U, this will be a function of S and V. It means we can write du is equal to tds minus pd this will be fourth equation so these four equations dh dg da and du we can find out these terms in the terms of the potentials s p t and v okay in these terms we can find out the value of h g u and a okay so these are the potential in the terms of coordinates now we have to find out the coordinates in the terms of potentials for this you can use the equation, either you can use the equation, see here, how to use the equation. Suppose this is our equation that we have earlier derived, okay. So see here, du is equal to TDS minus PDB. Suppose we have to find out the temperature. For this, this term should be equal to 0, okay. This can be 0 when dv is equal to 0. It means at constant volume, at constant volume. When we are taking one term as constant term, then D will change to del. Okay, so del U upon divide by this del S. At constant volume, this will be the value of temperature. Okay, in this way we can find out temperature. Similarly, use another equation. DH is equal to TDS plus VDP. If we want to find out temperature, then this term should be equal to 0. And this will be 0 when dp is equal to 0. Okay. So we can write at constant pressure. It means del h upon del s at constant pressure will be equal to temperature. This is the another equation. Okay. These two are the equations by which we can find out the temperature. These are the temperatures in the terms of potential. Okay. You can also use the trick. What is the trick? First of all, make the max bond square. S, P, T, V. Okay. 
एच जी ए यू राइट हियर प्लस टी डी एस राइट हियर प्लस वी डी पी राइट हियर माइनस एस डी टी एंड राइट हियर माइनस पी डी पी देन इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर इज गिव इन हियर सो दिस विल डिपेंड ऑन यू एंड एच सो राइट हियर डेल यू अपॉन दिस इज डी एस सो राइट हियर डेल एस एंड वॉट विल बी द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म सी हियर If you are taking it in the terms of u, then v will be the constant term. This equal to p. Similarly, if you are taking h, del h upon del s, then p will be the constant term. This will be equal to t. In this way, you can find out it in the quick tricks. Okay. Similarly, if you want to find out the pressure, if you have to find out the pressure, then what you will use? Just make the square. S P T V H G A U right here plus T D S plus V D P minus S D T and minus P D V. Okay, and you have to find out the pressure term. See here, pressure is here, so this will depend upon U and A. So right here. del u upon del this is del v okay so right here del v at constant c here this is s so constant s will be equal to minus p or you can write minus del u upon del v at constant s is equal to p similarly see another one this is del a del a upon del v at constant temperature will be equal to minus p or we can write minus del a upon del v at constant temperature will be equal to p so by these two equations you can find out the pressure this is pressure in the terms of potential similarly if you have to find out the entropy entropy means s so see here s is given here okay so it will depend upon either a or g so what you can do del a upon c here dt so right here del t at constant volume is equal to minus s or you can write minus del a upon del t at constant volume is equal to s similarly you can write del g upon del t at constant pressure is equal to minus s or you can write minus del g upon del t at constant pressure is equal to s so from these two equations you can find out the value of entropy okay now the last thing is volume volume v you have to find out and volume is given in this vdp so this will depend upon h and g it means you can write here del h upon del c here this is p so write here del p at constant s c here this is the s so it will be equal to volume similarly or you can use another equation you can write g del g upon del p at constant temperature is equal to v so from these two equations you can find out the volume okay so these are the coordinates in the terms of potential so in this way you can find out the coordinates from the potentials or potentials from the coordinates these are two types of the thermodynamic relationships now the next type of the thermodynamic relations are the equations of state a very important thing that we will see in our next lecture if you are liking these videos please share subscribe and please comment me thank you